Hi folks, I'm glad to welcome you to the Captain Herman channel and, and today we will have a technical video. You might ask why we have such a strange angle at the beginning of this video. It's simple, I'm here talking to you with our hardtop in that background and, and this hardtop we will today will be closing it up and making it just as beautiful as the interior of our boat. Are you guys ready? Let's go. So we went to the store and picked up the following items for our build. Paint, you might wonder what it's for. Well, we're going to be painting with it. We, uh, we will install plywood, which will be under the vinyl. And we also have these small ceiling lights um, because we will be adding more lighting. This is how it looks. Just like this, it gets controlled. We wanted to buy the same type of bulbs we already have installed, but we'll change them later since they're currently not available. One of the important elements we have here is... So, talking about um, packaging, we've got these turnbuckles. We'll be using them to fasten our plywood. And these turnbuckles are stainless steel, along with the stainless steel screws we'll be using. Okay, now onto the paint it says here it's enough for 15 square meters no if you're going for two coats for a five to six square meter area you'll have enough for 12 meters if you apply a single layer we just need a single layer because we're using it as a primer we'll be rolling on marine grade paint engineer apply wood protection to protect it from sun and water in short <laughs> The plywood should arrive in a couple of hours. It will be delivered directly to the boat. Such a wonderful service here in Bali. We went, bought it, and then it arrives directly to us. Here we have a mountain of curtains. Six light bulbs that will be installed. All right, now we wait for the plywood and, and to, uh, to cover our ceiling. We have this thing, it will be installed inside and we'll slide our clothes and then slide back in. We don't know if it will work. We'll try it out and see how it goes. All right, let's start analyzing. has been cleared from the ceiling. It's ready for installing the panel. Look, the guys are heading out. They brought us some plywood. It's nine millimeters thick. And to prevent it from water damage, since it'll be used indoors, we're going to paint it. These two sheets here, they need to be cut and marked now. That's what I'm about to do. for minimal gaps now what's the problem you see our hard top is quite warped so we can't get it even because if we make it even over there we end up with no gap here and if we set proper gaps right here 
we need to join them up here. So we have to trim right around here. The problem is, the problem with, with this whole story is that this hard top was manually made and all these gaps are of course terrible. And when you need to align the ceiling exactly, if you just cut it straight, it will of course be very uneven and awkward simply because the hard top itself is crooked, but it's only noticeable in the gaps. We'll do our best to make it right. Once it's covered in vinyl, those gaps will disappear as well. I hope it uh, will be more or less okay, but it's very difficult to turn to set all this up. As you can see, we already have packets on the deck. Um, there is a, a big packet here because uh, we will be painting our plywood. We have special uh, paint, as I showed you. Um, actually, it's not even paint, but primer. For wood protection from the weather, we, we've got everything labeled here. Um, the curtains are marked and now we're covering it all with paint. And they will dry with us. And then we will wrap them in vinyl. Take this fight, got something special, this a breathtaking sight. Flying over islands where the waters are clear. Today we saw darling adventure is near. Look down below, the reef so bright. Captain Sergi leads us to new heights. From lush green jungles to sandy shores. We're here to show you there's so much more. In Indonesia, where the one We'll share with you this beauty and peace Every month and every tree These islands of your poetry And then she went to, to dry off and now Dina is applying the remaining two Yet I think that this is it Then we'll let it dry somewhere there Right now, maybe in the evening we'll just paint the other sides And that's all <laughs> Yes we have here the end coating for the edges and this is the drying area for the varnish product. Everything is ready, all the varnished surfaces are drying. I think in a couple of hours they'll stop being sticky and by the evening or let's say tomorrow morning we can use them for vinyl check. Here's our vinyl, this is the inside. Now we will disassemble and measure. Do it yourself. This is the the part that the, will be inserted here. My mom uh, taught me when she was upholstering chairs in Kiev, I needed to do it in a way that uh, made it really tight. All right, the vinyl is stretched. Here, if you fold it according to the rules, you end up with this kind of thing. Uh, do you need it like that or uh, should you bend it differently so it won't be there? Yes, that's how it should be done. So, shall we give it a try? <laughs> Insert your bit right there. Here's what our films will look like. And here we have another one that's almost ready. Corners. This is a backing. Here, Dina is making this thing now. It will bind us together. What else are we doing? We just take a piece like this and insert it inside. Because when the fabric stretches, I've, of course, used sandpaper here to even it out. 
but to avoid putting too much stress on the corner we insert this extra little piece of vinyl right here. Okay, folks, basically we've decided not to mess around. So we went to the store and bought these amazing little locks. Uh, and they, they work like this. See, there's a spot for your finger here. And when you lift it up, the latch moves to the side. I think it's going to look really beautiful. Yes, that's right. We we just attached three hinges, and uh, on the other side, the hinges are ready as well. So these parts are in place. It's turning out quite beautiful, and then all of this will be assembled here and take its position. Preliminary starts this in general certainly took some time but just significantly more so we have the front panels well temporarily here we have what we use to measure the level all right this is the inside the locks are already installed this is already ready for installation check out this fabulous locks what beauty Because the plywood is a 9mm thick, the screws hardly hold and get pulled out, especially under such a heavy load. That's why we decided to fasten everything with bolts. Yeah, I think it's the right call. The only thing is that they'll be sticking out on the outside, but, you know, it's noticeable. Yeah, we've made it work with some nice looking nuts and bolts. I reckon we can live with that compromise just fine. Eh? They're noticeable but we made them with nice looking nuts. Uh, I think we can live with this compromise just fine. So here's the first half all set. All the hinges are working. Just need a little cleaning. All right, everything is in place. The only issue, if we close this side, it's off by about three millimeters. So there's a very tight gap. I'll take them. Now we had the hinges like this, I'll switch them to this and that should free up a couple of millimeters. If needed, I'll do the same with this panel here and then let's try to get all this aligned. Alright, shall we check it? Alright then! A hidden gem that we love the most The mountains rise and the oceans meet The perfect view that can't be beat See the waves that gently kiss the shore Every moment leaves you one more Through the lens we share this scene Every corner here is like a dream What we can't do right now is hang the lights that we have right here. We just can't get them. We have to order because what's sold here is terrible. We bought them. But they're no good. Just regular old halogens. The wiring. I will, I'll be doing the wiring along with the light bulbs. Uh, the only thing I've installed are these little buttons. The, the buttons are already working. There's a beautiful ceiling that covers everything underneath with decorative panels 
all we have left is to clean it. Uh, there's some minor decor. We have to figure out what to do with the gaps. We already have an idea. Well, overall, that, that's what we'll be doing shortly. And I guess that's all for now. So here we are, at the final stage of making our room. Take a look. I'm going to show you something cool. So here's what's going on. You can adjust it, turn it on and off with the remote. So basically you can adjust the temperature and the brightness, that means we've got some awesome bulbs here. The cost for six of these bulbs, they cost 38 American dollars, but it ended up being 80 to get them here in Indonesia with the local taxes included. Anyway, I'm about to hook everything up right now. Okay, um, so I've run this wire and brought it to the terminals. Let me show you now. So this gray wire here, this one is actually our power supply. And right here, I have this kind of terminal block. Here, uh, right here, you see the red one. It's an automatic 10 amp fuse. The negative is connected at the top here. Everything's connected. It seems like everything is as it should be. So, well, there's a connection. Now let's check. In the switch, these should be the front ones. Let's turn it on. They're on. The back ones are not. Uh, turn on the second one. They're on. I've got two zones now. One bulb shines on the table, the other over with the steering wheels. And the switch off is right here. One, two. And now we wait for the evening because, as I told you, we have a remote control that uh, it adjusts the brightness and temperature to create a cozy cockpit. And actually, they can all be turned off with the remote if we feel like it. So just like this, click to turn it on, click to turn it off. All right, let's check. Evening has come. Oh, how splendid. Now we have it here, Diana. We need to make it warmer. How about this? Number like this? A bit warmer. How about uh, now? Well, yellow is already yellow is already warm. At least let's go with a compromise. No, let's not make compromises. I'll turn it off then. Basically, yellow. Oh, that's it! Now we have a yellow light here. And regarding brightness, we've got... This is, uh, this is the maximum brightness, and the, the cool thing here is that now you can do this. Oh, that is super. Love it. Super! Like it! All right, folks. Uh, since we started this video from this perspective, let's wrap it up the same way. Right behind me is our magnificent hardtop, already coated on the inside. We've got a garage here where we fixed up boards, uh, fishing rods, and lots of stuff. Actually, that's what this cool Azo television sphere shape was made for. Well, let's talk about money. Mm. All right, let's take stock of what we've got here. I'll need to peek at my notes. Paint, $5, curtains and hardware, $80. Plywood, $60 for two sheets, which was enough for our entire structure. The light initially cost 20 bucks, which we purchased. Uh, locks, these unsuccessful ones, $100, which we threw away. 
because they didn't fit. The jigsaw was 30 bucks and proper locker locks cost 100 bucks. A set of hole saws to cut pretty holes, $20. Vinyl, 150 bucks, the right kind of vinyl that has all the features, including protection from ultraviolet and all that jazz, wires and various rollers, trays for paint. That all together came to around $50. So in total, our hardtop, I mean, this magnificent interior finish cost us 700 American dollars. That's the price tag for this project. Our hardtop, or rather this magnificent interior finish, cost us 700 US dollars. So that's the price tag for this project. Well, we started like this, and now it's transformed into this. It's beautiful like this. I think it turned out very well. All right, friends, don't forget to like and leave comments, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to check the bell. Technical stuff will be coming out from time to time because I prefer not to fix things on the go. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.